Hey everybody, welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy recording. Um, we're cracking on quite well with this, although I think there's loads more to do. Um, so, I'm doing on my quests the um, uh, 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 Professor Sharp's assignment. So, we've got to mix and match some uh, potions and that sort of stuff. Basically, he's using, using me as a guinea pig to try out to see if this works. Nice. I've done that one, Maximum Ninjas crafted those and I think already had one in my um, armory so to speak so I've done that one um, I couldn't make that because I needed some sort of weird tongs or something or other um, to buy the potion was 500 but to buy a tongue it was 100 per tongue so I bought a couple of tongs which works out cheaper why not so just back to my um, room of requirement which is here and I shall craft up the potion there we go so it was focus it is focus isn't it yep so I can make one of those actually I have got enough to make two but I'll make just the one because that's all I need, and that takes a minute to brew. Okay, okay. Have I got anything needs collecting? Yep, my fertilizer. Get the old um, plants when I do plant them. Growing bigger, better, faster, etc., etc. Is my moonstone ready to collect? Nope. Not quite ready just yet. I've not worked out how to scrap down some of these things. It's supposed to be using this button. I think. So I thought it was supposed to be delete or remove, but it's not letting me. Now I can change the size of it. How big does this go? That's its maximum size. Oh, okay. Can it go smaller? Oh. <laughs> He's tiny! Oh, brilliant. A little bit. Right, okay. Stop messing about. Ah, you see? That minute goes pretty quick when you're messing about. Require and use focus potion. So, tab. Focus. Use. Excellent. Whoosh. Wow. Okay. And I've got to attend potions class during the day now. Okay. What else have we got cracking off? Um, quests. Let's have a look. This will get me, hopefully, dip also. Interesting. Uh, I've just gone... That's... I'm not going to be dealing with the spider. Flight test. Um, but since we're at Hogwarts, ooh, that gives me Confringo. Okay, anyway, right, let's do this one, a 10 potions class during the day. Let's get that ticked off and out the way. What did I get? Oh, wow, Doug, that was it. Doug Bog. What is it? Doug Bog Tongue. Yuck. What twisted mind comes up with these things? Tick all these off. That's everything I do believe, maybe. Right. Uh, map. Okay, so let's go to Professor Fig's classroom. Gonna that should be being tracked actually, shouldn't it? Oh no, that's Sebastian. Oh, boom, hang on. That one, right? So, where's that being held then? Ah, oh, that's it. 
So here. Central hall. Potions classroom. There we go. I knew I'd got one nearby. It's just Hogwarts is a maze. Really difficult to find your way around. <coughs> there we go. No doubt it's not time. Why do the suits of armor do that? Professor Sharp is so intimidating. Okay, so his marker's at his desk, but he's nowhere near it, so we've just got to wait here. How are your assignments coming along? Why is that? Why is that like that? Rebellion. Let me also. <laughs> Don't mind me, Professor, I'm just having a look why they were. Highlighted and why that jar looks particularly weird. Revelio. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Oh, okay, this one looks easy. Space F space button. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go ask mates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? Repels many types of objects and enemies with considerable force. No direct damage to foes. Enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other. Ooh, okay. Tier 2. Number 4. Departure. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Okay. Is that it? What does he want me to do? So that's main quest. That's the next part. So, <laughs> let's go practice flying, because <laughs> that's going to be hilarious. Um, I like that, how it pointed out my nearest thingy pointers. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Um, what should I have in my quick selection? Well, no potions. Let's have the old venomous tentacula. Is it in here? This shop only opens up when this quest comes out. Oh, new face! Wonderful! Yeah, hold on, mate. I've just got to... I'm going to loot your shop first. Please hold. Rebellion. Something's dinging. Oh. 
I love the field guide. Sprint. Spint. Which is sporting needs. I'll be weeks. Okay, yeah, so basically, he's going to want us to be the guinea pigs again for testing out these modifications. Come on, Albie, hit me. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Oh, good for a beginner. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Um, does it say I've got to purchase one? What does the, um... I should be going now. Thank you. What does the quest say? Is it, does it say, oh, I have got to purchase a broom. Okay. What are we looking for today? To speak to him. Uh, anything to sell. That's lower. Nice doing business with you. That's lower. That's lower. Disarming increased damage with Expelliarmus, but it's 47 down on my defense. Rugged Fedora can go. Green Pinstrap Ensemble. That can go. I've got two that I don't think I've unlocked yet. Right, what we got? Ember Dash. Hogwarts House Broom. Moon Trimmer. Built for stability. Okay. Wind Wisp. Okay. And you, Weaver. Okay. Um, preview. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, okay, we can. Oh, no. Um, preview. Ooh, check that out. Interesting. Can I rotate it? No. That item is of the highest quality. Is he going to say that for every single broom? He's listening to me. Stability. I could probably do with that. That to be item is of the highest quality. All right. Okay. Light touch, literally. Yeah, man, that looks scraggy, doesn't it? Okay. That item is of the highest quality. Ooh, I quite like the look of that one. So it's um, that one's quite interesting with the fiery thing. Is not keen on that item is that of the highest quality. One. Really, I probably have that. I might. Should I have the you? I mean, they're all still the, they're all the same price. Comfortable, speedy broom with unique woven design. Oh, I don't know. Let's go for it. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I mean, technically, I could purchase a couple of them, actually. 
thanks for stopping by. Oh, just whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? So, after I've bought it, it tells me that they've got limitations. I should be told about the limitations before. <sighs> I don't fancy a time trial, not after my first experience of flying brooms. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. <laughs> Skill and talent for flying. Oh, God. Somebody's been fibbing. How did your passion for brooms begin? Okay. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Okay, I'll give it a go. I can always come back later, can't I? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. He better Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once okay. you beat Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, well, I'm not going to be walking it. There is a... Um, da, 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 da. Is it part of the world map? It can't be, can it? Because I thought I saw... Forbidden Forest, Blue Flame. So it must be part of the Hogwarts map. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so my nearest one is gonna be that one there. Let's go for that one. <coughs> Unless the markers were wrong. Okay, so 
Okay, she's up there somewhere. Can I use my broom? Where do I find my broom? <laughs> Let's go. Now I think she's around. Or is she inside? Oh, see what I mean about my flying. Um, so I need to. Okay. Um, see what I mean? I really don't fancy my chances at these time trials. <laughs> these time trials are going to be rubbish. I know it. Ooh, what's this? Revelio. Hmm. What are these? Interesting. Another one here. No pets. Okay. Same thing on each. Oh, out of the way, coming through. We have entered an area that allows yeah. flight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, my flying's rubbish. I got no chance of doing this. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Here we go. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> Did you see me flying? Ooh, that's not what happened, or you sound jealous. <sighs> Ooh. Um, well, be nice for now. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows <gasps> that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Mm. She wants a good old expelliarmus, right? Who's in the, the better flyer? I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Okay. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling fifth year. <laughs> Fine. I'll humor you. Oh, you can tell she's a proper ray, um, Slytherin. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Oh, why well, ate her already? Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Uh, yeah, I probably will, to be fair. Right, um, how do I go up? Hang on. That was it. Made it. Oops. Mister. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, so she did it in two minutes. This is rather fun. Oh, oh. Six. 
Okay, please excuse me while I go extremely quiet. This will take some getting used to. Misty rings. <laughs> Six second penalty. <laughs> oh, this is so rubbish. Well, I don't think I'm going to be beating her. Um. Oh, wrong button. Darn it. I can do better. Oh, even with my mess ups, I'm only nine seconds behind. Oh. Even with a couple of bad mess ups. And I was pretty awful at that, to be fair. Okay. Okay. Puddle flight speed. That one. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, she's going to be gloating now, isn't she? Hey, Glad went to far. see I'm still the reigning champion. But what see you? Want to try again? Yeah. Ready when you are. Now I kind of vaguely know. This is rather fun. Oh, oh! Come on, don't stop. Oh, missed one. Stop oh, better. What? Come on, why have we stopped? Okay. Brilliant. Did it. Damn it. Brilliant. Made it. Okay, I could do without those penalties, to be fair. See that? Ooh, isn't that beating her score? Wasn't it two minutes twenty her score? Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, cheated. Fine, you won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't need her respect. <laughs> she knows what she can go do. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, 
I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Yeah. Return to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the ranks. Okay. View leaderboard. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Ah, third. Okay, cool. Ah, that'll do me. That's not bad though. Second attempt. And that was still with two cock ups as well. However, that is the box ticked. Yeah, we'll get back to Albie and uh, we'll do that. I won't bother doing too many more races, although, yeah, I certainly do need the practice. Crikey. Hogsmeade, here I come. I assume near my map there, where it's got that red circle and a cross and what appears to be a bird in it, it's a no flying zone. So I assume it means I cannot use my. Yes, cannot use my broomstick. Okay. Does it tell you? Uh, Ooh, secret we're just appearing. Yo, Albie. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Um. Yes. Mr. Wheat, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I mean, to be fair, if he sticks more speed on my broomstick, <laughs> I've got no chance. I'll be running into trees and everything. Anyway, um, who's doubted you? I'll get them for you. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. <coughs> Where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevic could let the no-sayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Oh, okay. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Cool. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Quest complete. That's got to be level 22 now. Um, yes. Which means those items that I couldn't unlock will be unlocked now. Let's have a look. Gear. Uh, 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 where did... Where was it? Frameless tinted. I think those are the ones I've got on at the moment. Ooh, so they are... 22 plus 2 current... Plus four. Yes, please. Oh, they're the same um, look as uh, what I already had on. Okay. Uh, what else? Silly hat. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. So it must have been here. I'm sure I had. Or were they both glasses? Actually, that's a possibility. Right, map. I need to go sell. Follow the butterflies. Okay. Conjugation spellcraft. Right, okay, so I'm gonna go here. And then I'm I might have a look at that one. Is that in my quests? No, it isn't. It must be a side quest then to pop up. Okay. Yeah, right. Because, um, the reason why I want to go to the clothes shop is some of my outfits are behind. That's only two. That's 22, obviously, because I've just equipped it. That should be about 21, 22, which is fine. That's 21. I think it was my cloaks and robes, but I think that might have caught up 21. So I might be okay, to be fair. That's 21. So... Um, gloves are my lowest. So, let's go and see if there's any reasonable gloves. For like a 22. Even if they're too high a level and I can't use them straight away. Is that house I repaired still standing? Yeah, quality work. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? It's Plenty crazy guys hair. From here, so take your time. Right, sell first. Yes, lower defence. And yes, lower defence. Thank you. Purchase. Ooh, I've already had one of those. No gloves, though. Ooh, that's nice. Celtic hero cape. Okay. Like it. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Hmm. Maybe not. Not keen on the look of that one. Straws. <laughs> I'd straw. say that looks as if it was made for you. <laughs> All that's missing is a nice bit of straw at the mouth. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he's got nothing. Right, let's escape. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. No, I don't, mate. Well, let's go and see this about following some butterflies. Where's it taking me? Oh, she's in the... Hey! Butterflies, tell me more. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Why do I get the feeling this is a bad idea? Okay. Well, we kind of know about the forest, but let's ask anyway. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness. Everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. To be fair, yes, we know about both of those. 
But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you at the soon. pub. We can usually find her at the pub. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringe. What level is this? No level. Mm. Where is she sending us? Oh, crikey. Right, uh, world map. Hmm. Ooh, field guide page there. Crikey. Right, um, let's go have a look, shall we? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, me good old trumpeting daffodil thing is. I so want to grow these. Although I think that noise may get on your nerves. Oh, it's night time as well. Uh, hang on, please hold. I think I might do a save. Cracky. Um... I've been on this for 17 hours. I think I've only scratched the surface. Okay. Rebellion. <laughs> there they are. There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Okay. There they go. Where are they heading? See? Good job I didn't follow them completely. Go on, head straight to the bloody flag. Spider Dan. Well, well. Look what we have here. Don't like that music. But is that it? What? Rebellion. Is that it? Oh. I feel a bit disappointed in that. I feel cheated. Although the film of the forest, I'm not particularly. Cleaning. Revelio. Does help to press the right button. It paid is. Mm. Whoa. What was that? Mm. Right. Yes, it would be night time, wouldn't it, when I come here? Birds. Let me just get out where it's safe. I don't need the mushrooms. <laughs> Those are great. I love it. Hogsmeade. And she'll be in the pub, didn't she say? So, oh, which is the Best blue flame. I don't know. I gave that one. Sorry, trumpeting daffodils, whatever you are. That 
was a suspicious, suspicious, I can't even say it, suspiciously it easy any quest. More cozy than Hogsmeade. Ooh, there's a chest there. Is it one of those that's locked Revenge. inside the hatch? I think it might be. Must be inside, but I'm not seeing anything. Or is it one I've already opened? That's possible. Surely they must disappear. Oh, hang on. Here already. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. I do. I do. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Uh Okay. Um Do I disappoint her? No. They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? I mean, to be fair, she could have come in with me. It's not like it was particularly far in. She could have come with me. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Revelio. Anything here? I hate when you hear something ting and you can't blooming see it. I've already been through here though, I think. How are we doing? Um, uh, ooh, 47 minutes according to my timer. On my regular hour. Ooh, um, did I pick up any gear? No. So, it was... Um, a decoration, wasn't it? Ah, so I can get broom upgrades there, okay. Right, um... Professor Sharp. Acquire and use invisibility potion. And acquire and use a thunder brew potion against enemies. Okay, um, I need to do that. Meet Sebastian. Or oh, should, should I concentrate on doing that one? Invisibility and Thunderbrew Potion. Okay. Invisibility. I know I haven't got troll bogeys. <laughs> I know I haven't got those. What was the other one? Uh, Thunderbrew. Thunderbrew, Thunderbrew. Thunderbrew. And I haven't got that, so I might have to buy those. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, so I need to go to the potions guy, don't I? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. He was thanking me before he even walked into the room. What can I do for you today? How much of those? A hundred. You see, I could, I could brew my own. <laughs> Troll bogeys. <laughs> I don't have anything to sell, do I? No. Okay. So... A wise decision. I get Thank a couple you. of those. And stench of death. 
I haven't come across any of those guys. The N30 or whatever they are. Right, okay, what else do I need? I've got those. I think I've got one of those. I might have enough to craft I one hope of to each. See you again. Farewell for now. Invisi invisibility. I can make one, yeah, that's fine. And what is it? Thunderbrew. Shrivel fig fruit. He didn't have that, did he? What can I do for you today? No, he didn't. I hope to okay. see you again. So it's gonna be this guy here. Or that person there, Dogweed and Deathcap. Let's go to him. And we may be brewing these up on my next episode by the looks of it. Excuse me, coming through. Now in some games I've played, when you charge past people like that, you nearly knock them over and they shout Hello. out and stuff. Be with you in a bit. What, hey? Get out, Let serve me, me now. You're after something fresh. There we go. 150. Okay. Um. Now, you want to know if there's anything else I can help you with? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Yeah, we can make one. And we can make one. Because that's all I have to do. So I can get those brewing. Get my, back to my room of requirement. Get those brewing. Recording and we can start off. Cracking on with the next, can't we? Um, Hogwarts map. Secret rooms. Room of requirement. <coughs> Been an interesting one today. Right, let's uh, collect these. Do due diligence. <laughs> well, you see, when I got those, I was expecting me not to be able to put them down until I got like creatures and animals for the manure to then make the fertilizer. That would be a logical thing, but no, I just need to place them down and they make it like that without the need of animals or anything. Um, right, invisibility. There we go. And... A thunder broom. Light the bottle. Okay. Cool. I haven't got anything to use here, have I? No, one identified. To identify. For now, at least. Okay. So that's all I can use that for. Okay. Is that my owl? I don't have an owl. Why have I got an owl on my table? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm thinking, since I'm waiting for these, I could quit now, couldn't I? There's nothing much is happening. This is a bit of a wasted room, isn't it? I mean, it looks nice. But... It's a bit of a waste of room because I can't even put this table in it. Right. I like that. So I have to just use the invisibility one and that's it. Brill. And you know what? That's not lasting very long, is it that? And I've got to use a thunderbrew. What does thunderbrew potion do anyway? Creates a storm around the drinker which will stun and damage nearby enemies. Okay, so I'll just find like a group of poachers or enemies. Use it. Job done. Okay. I mean, I could find some wolves or dogs or whatever out in the wilds and just use it because they're a pretty easy target to be fair. Okay. Okay, and that's done now. Okay, so we'll 
probably... Ooh, achievement unlocked, going through the potions, rather than going through the motions. Right, let's collect the moonstone. Cool. Okay, uh, well it's near enough up to my hour for my recordings, so I think I will stop there. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't laugh too much at my flying skills because I don't have any. Um, I shall catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.